don't believe history belongs in the courtroom. The way of judging, adjudicating things in a courtroom, in a legal context, and the way of adjudicating things historically is, is, is quite different. And I don't believe you go suing people. He sued me. And, but, but Matthew's point, thank you, Matthew, is a, very, is a correct point. Many people just assume, oh, she must have sued him. So in any case, so he sued me. And we took a very, um, some people say that this trial was about proving the Holocaust happened. It doesn't matter, it really wasn't about that. I, when I sat down with my lawyers, we, we, we were both on the same page in this regard. But we said that, you know, we don't have trials to prove that uh, World War I happened. We don't have trials to prove, I don't know, the, the, the Civil War happened in the United States or, or whatever, whatever. Why do you need a trial to prove the Holocaust happened? And that's not what we're about. My book wasn't about proving the Holocaust happened. My book was about looking at deniers. And David Irving says he wasn't a denier. He's not a falsifier of history. He doesn't lie about history. He doesn't deny the documents. So what we did, and should be of interest to any student of history, is we followed the footnotes back to the sources. In other words, we weren't proving what happened. We weren't proving how many people precisely were murdered in Auschwitz or any other camp or murdered by the Einsatzgruppen. But we were arguing that when David Irving says, at one point, I think he says, only, only 64,000 people died there, died there, that, he, that the evidence he was using doesn't prove his point. So in other words, we were, going, we were following his claims to show that he engaged in distortion of information, distortion of material, false claims, et cetera.